I'm going to publish what's been marked as one x-ray x-ray. Can you orient the jury? You had referenced you all were at a staging area before executing the search warrant. Behind, if I was the cameraman and I was going to turn around, what's behind me? The residence. And uh, if you were to turn around and walk down that driveway, how long does it take you to get to the street? Um, it's, it's a good ways off the street, maybe, um, maybe 30 yards and from the street. About 30 yards? Yes. Before you and other members, did other members of the APD gang unit assist in this search? Yes. Before you all assisted in this search, um, was anyone initially uh, detained on site? Yes. Who, were, who was? Um, so uh, Mr. Jeffrey Williams was detained. Mr. Uh, Martinez Arnold was detained. Um, Mr. DeMonte Kendrick was detained. And then there were other um, individuals inside as well, including a, uh, a cleaning crew and a uh, Mr. Williams' 15-year-old uh, son was present. So um, were they all, so when you entered the residence, was anyone other than law enforcement inside? When I entered the residence, no, it was just law enforcement. And um, I'm going to publish one x-ray x-ray, or sorry, two x-ray x-ray. Is this the front of the residence? That is the front of the residence. And when you entered that location, did you go in through the front door? I did. And is that the front stairs depicted on this photograph? Yes, those are the front stairs leading up to the front door of the residence. I'm going to publish three x-ray x-ray. And if I were to walk up those stairs, uh, is this the view that you would see? Yes. Now, I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 4 X-ray X-ray. Can you describe for the jury what this area of the home is? Uh, so this is the main level um, after you walk in uh, with the living room and then a open kitchen uh, to the left. Now, do you see that? white island uh, in the middle to the left near the kitchen? Yes. And do you see uh, that kind of half wall to the left of that painting? Okay. Yes. What is on the other side of that wall? Uh, there's a, a coat closet. And actually, I'm going to ask you, I got an old school wooden pointer, Detective Sorno. I'm gonna, you can help orient the jury, please, sir. Where's that storage closet you were just discussing? So it's behind this uh, wall. Um, there's a door opening into the closet. And would the front door be to our left, looking at this photograph? Yeah, the front door to the uh, entrance to the residence would be back over here. And is there any type of doors or windows to the right on the other side of this couch? Uh, yes, so to the right there's a door, uh, like a screen door, that leads to the backyard of the residence. Okay. I'm going to publish five x-ray x-ray. Now, Detective Sorner, do you see that blue door on the right side of this exhibit? Yes, right here is the door to the closet. And with, do you see that uh, box seated, seated on the middle of that island? Yes. Can you orient for the jury where that is? Uh, this box right here is considered the cat. And... I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 6 X-ray X-ray now. Is that the box you were just discussing? That is the same box, yes. I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 7 X-ray X-ray. Is that a piece of clothing that was found in the house? Yes, that was, that was a hoodie that was located uh, on the uh, counter as well. Now, I am going to uh, publish republished five x-ray x-ray and I wanted to ask you a question detective Storno with the search warrant uh, the initial search warrant what was the items you all were trying to uh, search so the for? initial search warrant drafted by um, investigator Viv Rito was uh, the scope of the search warrant was for gang paraphernalia and cellular devices and did you ever work on getting any additional search warrants um, that day? 
Yes, once um, um, uh, numerous firearms were located in the residence along with um, illegal narcotics, I was tasked with applying for an additional search warrant for 355 Allison with the uh, scope of the search warrant to include uh, firearms, uh, narcotics, um, currency, uh, ammunition, um, uh, and I um, uh, believe that, that was the scope of my search warrant. Now, Detective Sorno, looking back at this photograph, was there any uh, money counter on that island? Yes, there was a, a, a gold money counter that was located on the, um, on the counter in front of the sink. I'm going to publish six, excuse me, um, I'm going to publish seven X-ray X-ray and eight X-ray X-ray, my apologies. Um, is that the money counter you were just discussing? Yes, that is the money counter that we uh, located. Now, I'm going to publish nine. <laughs> what is depicted in this photograph? Uh, it's a container of um, a substance we believe to uh, be marijuana. And is that the same uh, kitchen aisle we were just discussing? Yes, that was also located on the uh, counter. Now, I'm going to publish 10 x-ray x-ray. What is this uh, item? Uh, it's a satchel. Did you all look in that satchel? Yes. I'm going to publish 11 x-ray x-ray. What all was inside of it? Uh, inside was a, a Ziploc baggie containing uh, suspected marijuana as well as a lot of the uh, U.S. currency, um, some keys, cell phone, um, and a, uh, a glass, a Cartier glasses case. I'm going to publish 12 X-ray X-ray. Where is this uh, in relation to the kitchen area we were just discussing? This was located in a cabinet um, below the counter. And. Uh, do you, what are those bottles to the left? Uh, those bottles, those were open bottles of promethazine, codeine, uh, cough syrup. I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 13, X-ray, X-ray. What uh, is that on the counter right there to the uh, far left? That was a uh, firearm that was located on the, uh, on the counter. Now, I'm going to republish five X-ray, X-ray. And is this the far end, if you're the cameraman, of this uh, kitchen aisle? Yes, yeah, it's, it's down here in the corner. I'm going to go back and publish 14 x-ray x-ray. Is this the firearm we were just discussing? Yes. What type of firearm was this? Uh, that was an FN 5.7 uh, firearm. And did it have any magazine or ammunition with this firearm? Yes, it was loaded with a magazine containing ammunition. I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 15, X-ray, X-ray. What was the serial number on this firearm? Serial number was 386-380-329. Now, Detective Dorna, I'm going to approach you with what you mark as 15, X-ray, X-ray, Alpha. Excuse me, it's uh, 14 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. Now, Detective Storno, can you please... Keeping that item in the box, can you? Is there a serial number on that item? There is. And I'm going to give you some gloves if you want to use them. What is the serial number on that item? Uh, the, the serial number is three eight six three eight zero three two nine. Is that the same serial number of the firearm we were just discussing found on the kitchen counter? Yes, it is. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence fourteen X-ray X-ray Alpha. All right, that's admitted. Now, I'm going to publish 
States Exhibit 16, X-ray, X-ray. You know where we were just we were just discussing this firearm. Yes. If you were to do a complete 180, where would this cabinet be in, in relation to the firearm we were just discussing? Uh, directly behind it, um, on top of the uh, refrigerator, in a cabinet. I'm going to publish 17 X-ray, X-ray. What do we have here? Uh, in this photo is a large bag containing uh, suspected marijuana, as well as uh, two firearms that were uh, located next to the bag of marijuana. I'm going to publish 18 X-ray, X-ray. Is this a closer photograph of the suspected marijuana? It is. Now, as we go through these, uh, ultimately with these items we discussed, did APD gang detective uh, members or other law enforcement personnel you know, collect these items? that were found at the home? Yes, the uh, APD gang unit, as well as members of the uh, Fulton County District Attorney's Office collected the items. Now, I'm approaching you, Detective Storna, with what's been marked as 18 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. And let me ask you, uh, is there a, when APD collects evidence, is it associated with a case number? Yes. And for this case, what is the APD case number associated with this case? Uh, the APD case number associated with this incident is 22129-1090. Uh, and do you see that APD case number on that item of evidence before you? Yes, it's on the property sticker that was created for this item. Uh, and I'm going to ask you, Detective Storno, uh, if you can... Uh, or using that, can you open up and look in that bag? Sure. And I have some uh, item that will help you. Yeah, you want me to give you a knife or something? <laughs> Sorry. Scissors will help. Yep, I, I got some scissors. Should make it a little easier. Case, does that appear to be the bag of marijuana? Uh, yes, it's, uh, it contains... Uh, Don't self, take it out until it's kind of... Done. It contains, yes, uh, su the suspected marijuana we recovered from the residence. And with uh, the items collected after they were collected from the home, did law enforcement personnel ultimately transport them back to APD? Yes, um, we did. And... Uh, when all the items were collected and gathered, um, did you generate a report for the items recovered at the home? Yes. And were those items ultimately from a member of the team transported to any other law enforcement agencies? Uh, they were eventually transported from uh, APD property to the GBI. Um, does the labeling associated with that bag and having examined it appear to be a fair and accurate depiction of the suspected marijuana collected in, on this residence on May 9th, 2022. Yes. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence 18 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. All right, submitted. Thank you, Detective Sorno. I'll, um, for now, I'll make a little space for you. <coughs> Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Now, I'm going to publish state's exhibit 19 x-ray x-ray and um is this the firearm we had just discussed in the kitchen cabinet yes this was a firearm one of one of the two firearms that was located next to that large bag of marijuana what kind of firearm is this this is a glock uh firearm and did it have a magazine or any ammunition yes it uh it was loaded with a magazine containing ammunition is that the magazine with a uh, ammo sticking out at the top it is 
I am going to approach you with, or I'm going to publish 20 X-ray, X-ray first. What's the serial number on this firearm? The serial number is B T D Y six one seven. I'm approaching the witness with what's been marked as 19 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. Detective Storno, without taking that uh, item out of the box, can you look and see if you see a serial number on it? Uh, yes, I do. What is the serial number on that item in the box? The serial number is uh, BTDY617. Does that appear to be the firearm we were just discussing collected um, from the home on May 9th, 2022? Yes, this is the firearm that we uh, located. Your Honor, the state moves to tender into evidence 19 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. Admitted. Publishing 21. X-ray, X-ray. Is this the second firearm that was in that kitchen cabinet? Yes. And what type of firearm is this? Uh, this is a Smith & Wesson semiotic firearm. And did it have a magazine and ammunition? It did. I am going to approach you with what's been marked as State's Exhibit 21 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. And if you can, Detective Storno, without taking it out of the box, just look at that item and see if you see a serial number. I see the serial number. What it, or, and I'm going to publish 22 X-ray, X-ray first. What is the serial number depicted on the screen? The serial number on the screen is NCC8806. Uh, and what is the serial number on the firearm before you? Serial number on the firearm in front of me is NCC8800. I'm sorry. Yes, 8800. Is Nine. that uh, zero, 00 on the screen? Could that be a zero at the end? Yes, that's a zero. Um, does that appear to be the firearm collected that day? It does. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence 21 X ray, X ray alpha. It's admitted. I am uh, republishing five X-ray, X-ray, and uh, the far left open gray cabinets. Do you see that in this photograph? Yes. And can you point that out for the jury? Is that the cabinet we were just discussing with the suspected marijuana and the two firearms? Yes. Um, I want to turn your attention to the closet across from that. Okay. Uh, were there any items identified in that closet? Uh, yes, we recovered several items from that closet. I'm going to publish what's been marked as 23 X-ray, X-ray. What is depicted here? Uh, that is a... Uh, Glock gun box. And does that have a serial number on that gun box? Uh, yes, it does. What is that serial number? Uh, the serial number is uh, BVNU633. I'm going to publish what's been marked as 24 X ray X ray. What do we have here? That was a Glock magazine uh, that we located containing uh, ammunition. In that closet? That was recovered from that closet. I am handing you what's been marked as 24 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. Do you see a case number with this item, Detective Storno? Yes. Um, is that appear to be the same APD case number associated with this case? It's the same. It's the same case number. And uh, if you could, Detective Storno, just open it up to where you can look inside of it, but don't take it out. And uh, with the 
APD case number and evidence markings and looking at the item, uh, what is that? Uh, there's a Glock magazine along with um, ammunition inside this uh, emblem. And um, is that a fair and accurate depiction of a Glock magazine with ammunition collected on the May 9, 2022 search warrant? Yes. Your Honor, the state moves to tender into evidence 24 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. Submit it. Now, Detective Storno, I'm going to publish 25 X-ray, X-ray. Um, was, did you find any other boxes in that storage closet on the first floor? Uh, we've uh, recovered a uh, gun box, an empty gun box, um, as depicted in this photo. And if I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, what type of uh, gun box was this? Uh, it was a gun box for a micro Draco um, uh, semi-automatic uh, uh, firearm. And what type of ammunition did the, would that type of firearm hold? Uh, seven by six two. Um, 762 by 39. I'm going to publish what's been marked as 26 X-ray X-ray. So in this home, was there, when you walk in the front door, was there bedrooms on the first floor? There were. And was there any basement or lower level? There was a staircase uh, leading to a lower basement level. And was there a second or third floor in that home? Yes, there was also a staircase leading to a upstairs. Now, with this photograph, do you uh, remember there ever being a pantry in the home? Yes, there was a pantry that was behind uh, uh, the refrigerator, like a, a whole room. And is that the first floor of the residence? That's the first floor. I'm going to publish 27 X-ray X-ray. Now, is this a close-up photograph of, the, of that pantry? Yes. Now, when officers initially were in the home, did anything stand out about this pantry? Not initially, no. What did you all come to uncover about this pantry? Um, officers conducting the search later found a, uh, a hidden compartment, um, like a trap door behind, um, behind the pantry. I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 28, X-ray, X-ray. Do you see a opening in that pantry? Yes. I'm going to publish 29 x-ray x-ray. Is this what you would see behind that hidden trap door, so to speak? Yes, that was the opening to the uh, kind of the hidden compartment. I'm going to publish 30 x-ray x-ray. What was inside of that compartment? Uh, we, uh, there was a, a Glock firearm on the floor, and there was also two bags uh, recovered from that uh, hidden space. And were those items brought out and, and looked through by the team? Yes. I'm gonna, going to publish 31 X-ray X-ray. Is this a close-up of the firearm that was found in that uh, compartment of the pantry? Yes, that's the firearm that was located in the, uh, the hidden space. And did it have a magazine and ammunition? It did. And what type of firearm was this? That is a Glock firearm. I'm going to publish 32 X-ray X-ray. What was the serial number on this firearm? Serial number was uh, BVNU633. Now, I am uh, handing you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 31 X-ray X-ray Alpha. Detective Storno, if you could, without taking it out of the box, would you please see if you see a serial number on the item in that box? Uh, yes, I see a serial number. What is the serial number? The serial number is uh, BVNU633. Is that the same serial number of the firearm found in the compartment of the pantry? It is. I'm going, Your Honor, the state moves, or is that a fair and accurate depiction of that, or is that the firearm that was found? This was the firearm that was recovered in that uh, secret compartment. I am going to tender into evidence, Your Honor, 32, um, is it, Detective Turner, can you help, is it 31 X-ray, X-ray Alpha on the uh, top of that box? Yes, 31 X-ray, X-ray Alpha at this time. Submitted. Detective Storno, I'm going to publish 33 
X-ray, X-ray. Now, is this a close-up of the two bags from that compartment? Yes, it is. I'm going to publish 34 X-ray, X-ray. What was inside the pink bag? What do we have here? Uh, we recovered multiple bottles, uh, multiple unopened bottles of promethazine codeine syrup. And have you encountered promethazine or codeine syrup in your 18 years with Atlanta Police Department? Yes. Um, I'm going to publish, or let me ask you this. Was there multiple bottles? There were multiple bottles that we recovered, yes. I'm going to publish 35 X-ray, X-ray. Um, is this the brown bag that was next to that bag in the compartment? Yes. I'm going to publish 36 X-ray, X-ray. What do we have here? What was inside of that bag? Uh, in, in addition to the promethazine bottles, there was a bag containing um, multiple uh, multiple bottles of various uh, pills. I'm going to publish. Well, let me ask you this: On the the day of the search, did you know or able to tell what type of pills or items they were? No, we we did not identify the type of pills they were on the day of the search. I'm going to publish 37 X-ray X-ray. After y'all went through the bag, did you ever line these items out to go through them? Our uh, members of our team did. And is that what is depicted in this photograph? Yes. Now, I'm going to publish 38 X-ray X-ray. Is this a close-up of the miscellaneous pills and items in that bag in the compartment? Yes. And ultimately, with these items, did you ever, did the APD gang unit ever place these items in a larger bag? Yes. And ever transport them to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation? They're, they're eventually transported to the GBI. And would that be under the same case that we've been discussing? Yes. I am approaching the witness with what's been marked as 37 X-ray, X-ray alpha. Now, Detective Storno, do you see an APD case number on that item? Yes, I do. And is that the APD case number for this case we've been discussing? Yes, it's the same case number. And um, with looking at the items, and if you need to open it, you may. I wanted to ask you um, if those are items that were collected from the home that we were just discussing. Yes, this bag contains the various um, uh, pills that were recovered um, in that uh, in the bag that was in the hidden compartment. Your Honor, at this time, the state would move to tender the evidence 37 X-ray, X-ray alpha. Admitted. Now, Detective Storno, uh, was there ever any white powder found in that secret compartment? Yes. And was it in any type of container? I uh, do not recall what type of container it was in. I believe it was in a plastic bag. Um, I'm going to show you what's been marked as 37 X-ray, X-ray Bravo, and ask you, do you see an APD case number with that item? Yes. Um, is that the same APD case number associated with this search warrant? It is. And the, um, were all items collected in the home from that search warrant ultimately taken back to APD and transported to the GBI? Uh, they were eventually, yeah, they, they were initially booked into our APD property and then later transported to the GBI. And when APD collects items and places them in the property, does it have the date of collection on the evidence uh, sticker on the items collected? Yes. And is the date on that item the same date as the search warrant? It is. Does that appear to be uh, an item of uh, collected from the home, the search of this home? Yes. Your Honor, this time the state will move to tender into evidence 37 X-ray, X-ray Bravo. Admitted. I'm going to publish 39 X-ray, X-ray. Is this a view of that same bag found in that secret compartment? Yes, it is. And in total, how many bottles of what was suspected to be promethazine or codeine 
found in the home that day. Uh, we, we recovered a total of 33 bottles. I'm going to publish 40 x-ray x-ray. Are these the items lined out from what were collected in that brown bag we were just looking at? Yes. I am approaching the witness, Your Honor, with what's been marked as 40 x-ray x-ray alpha. I'll make a little room for the Texas Court. Is there a APD case number associated with that box, the Texas Dorno? Yes. And does that appear to be the same APD case number associated with this case? Yes. Can you do me a favor and open up and look in that box? Having looked at the uh, packaging and labeling of that item and looking inside, what is that? Uh, this box contains the bottles of uh, promethazine coating that we've recovered from the uh, residents. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence 40 X-ray X-ray Alpha. Admitted. And Detective Storno, I will grab that for you real quick. Place it right here. Now, I'm going to approach you with what's been marked as 40 X-ray X-ray Bravo and ask you to take a look at that item and do you see an APD case number associated with it? Yes. Is that the APD case number associated with the search warrant of this home? It is. And is the collection date uh, on that item the same date as the search warrant? Yes. With, um, without opening that um, item with the labeling from that package, does that appear to be an item collected or a substance collected from the May 9th, 2022 search of the home? Yes. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence 40 X-ray, X-ray Bravo. Admitted. Now, Detective Storno, were some of the items, uh, or not items, but were some of the promethazine coating bottles open that you collected? Yes. I am going to publish or hand you what's been marked as 40 X ray, X ray Charlie. Does that have a APD case number associated with it? It does. And is that the APD case number associated with this case? It is. And uh, are you able to see in that item? Yes. And uh, from looking at the labeling of this package and looking inside, does this appear to be uh, an item collected from the home? Uh, yes, this is the, uh, from the open bottles of promethazine. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence 40 X-ray, X-ray Charlie. Admitted. I'm approaching the witness with what's been marked as 40 X-ray, X-ray Delta. Detective Storno, if you can take a moment and look at, does that have a evidence label on that item? It does. And is that the same APD case number associated with the evidence collected from the search? Yes. And are you able to, uh, or may you, open that and take a look inside briefly? Okay, I see. Uh, what is 40 X-ray, X-ray Delta? 
Uh, these are empty bottles of um, that contain formally contained promethazine. Is that a fair and accurate depiction of uh, some of the empty bottles that you collected that day? Yes. Your Honor, the state moves to tender into evidence. State's Exhibit 40, X-ray, X-ray Delta. Admitted. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, I'm going to publish 41, X-ray, X-ray. And earlier, Detective Sorno, we had discussed about different bedrooms in the home. Is this bedroom depicted on the basement, first floor, or second story? Uh, this is on the first floor, main level of the residence. Is this within walking distance of the main living room area we had just in, in the kitchen area? Yes. I'm going to publish, or let me ask you this. Was there a bathroom inside of this room? Uh, yes, this bedroom has its own bathroom attached. I'm going to publish 42 X-ray, X-ray. What do we have here? Uh, so this is in the uh, cabinet underneath the sink. Um, we were, uh, there were two promethazine bottles uh, that we uh, located, um, as well as this uh, uh, North Face, uh, this black North Face bag. And did you all go inside of that black North Face bag? Yes. I'm going to publish what's been marked as 43 X-ray, X-ray. Is this showing some of the contents of that bag? Yes. I'm going to publish 44 X-ray, X-ray. What do we have here? Uh, so there was some uh, marijuana that we uh, recovered from the bag, and as well as also a bag of ammunition. I'm sorry, a box of ammunition. I am approaching you with what's been <coughs> marked as State's Exhibit 44 X-ray Alpha. I'm going to ask you to take a look at this. Does this item have the same APD evidence case number? and identification tag used from the items collected this day? Yes, it's the same case number. I'm going to ask you to open that and look inside, please. Okay. And you can actually pull that out. Um, and what is that item? Uh, this is a box of uh, a 45 caliber ammunition. And is that the same 45 caliber ammunition that's depicted on 44 X-ray X-ray? It is. And this was in the first floor or a bedroom on the first floor of the home in the bathroom? That's correct. I am going to, or at this time the state moves to tender into evidence 44 X-ray X-ray alpha, Your Honor, at this time. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, inside of, I'm going to publish 45 X-ray, X-ray. Inside of this room, is this a dresser in that same bedroom? It is. Now, I'm going to ask uh, Ms. Knight to help me zoom in just briefly on the prescription bottles. And was there a name on these bottles? There was. Who, whose name was on these bottles? Jimmy Winfrey. Are you familiar with Jimmy Winfrey? Yes, I am. Um, and does he have any nickname that you know him as? Yes, uh, Pee Wee Roscoe. I am going to publish State's Exhibit 46, X-ray, X-ray. Is this the same bedroom that just had the prescription pill bottle with Jimmy Winfrey? Yes, that's the same bedroom. And what type of, is this a, what type of box is this? Uh, that's a Glock uh, firearm box. I'm going to publish 47, X-ray, X-ray. Is this a close-up of that Glock firearm box we were just discussing? Yes. I'm going to publish 48 X-ray, X-ray. Now, we had discussed earlier, Detective Storno, about the different floors. Is this one of the stairwells inside the home? Yes. And where is this stairwell in relation to that circular couch in the living room? Uh, it's behind it. I'm going to publish 49 X-ray, X-ray. Is this taking you down those stairs? That is taking you downstairs to the basement level. I'm going to publish 50 X-ray, X-ray. And is this the view you would have if you got to the bottom of those stairwells? Yes. Now, uh, I'm going to ask Ms. Knight to help me zoom in. Do you see that pile of clothes on the floor? Yes. We're going to zoom in a little bit. What is that to the left of those clothes? Uh, it appears to be a, uh, is a Glock 
uh, well, I'll say it's a firearm with a, an extended magazine. In. And I'm going to zoom back out. Um, and published 51 X-ray X-ray. Is this a close-up of that firearm that was in the basement of the home? Yes. And uh, where was that item initially located, if you recall? It was initially located uh, underneath the couch. That same gray couch depicted? Yes. I am going to publish 52 x racks right now. Do you see the back of this firearm? Yes. Have you ever encountered or familiar with something called a switch? Yes, I'm familiar. What is that? Uh, it's a device that attaches to the rear slide of a, um, a firearm, usually a Glock firearm, which um, illegally modifies the weapon to fire as an aut automatic machine gun. And uh, are you able to tell from this photo that this firearm does or does not have what appears to be a switch? I can, looking at the photo, I can tell that there's a, a switch attached to this firearm. And can you show the jury just real briefly where that, where you're looking at on this firearm? Yes. So right here is a uh, converter switch that's been attached to the rear of the slide. And I'm going to go back to 51 X-ray X-ray real quick. And is that magazine uh, normal size for a magazine or something else? No, that's an extended magazine. And was there ammunition in that magazine? Yes. I'm going to publish 53 X-ray X-ray. What was the serial number on this firearm with a, a switch and an extended magazine that we were just discussing? Uh, the firearm is uh, BPHW105. I am approaching you with what's been marked as 51 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. If you could, Detective Storno, um, open that box and let me know uh, what is inside of it. Or does it have a serial number on that item? There is a serial number on it. And what's the serial number? Serial number is BPHW105. Uh, is that the same serial number of the firearm we were just discussing? Yes. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence 41 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. Admit it. And is there a magazine inside of that box as well? The magazine is not in the box. Thank you. Now, I am going to approach you with 51 X-ray, X-ray Bravo. If you could, does that have a APD uh, evidence sticker and case number associated with it? Yes. And is that the same case number associated with the search on May 9th, 2022? It is. Um, from looking at that and looking at uh, what's inside of that, what are those items? Uh, <clears throat> these are... Um the nine millimeter rounds uh, recovered from that extended magazine. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence 51 X-ray, X-ray Bravo at this time. 51 or 41? I thought you said 41. Your Honor, uh, if I did, I misspoke. I meant to say 51 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. Or excuse me, 51 X-ray, X-ray Bravo. My okay, apologies. Okay, so was... The last one also 51, the one that was X-ray, X-ray Alpha? Correct, Your Honor. Okay. Those are admitted. Thank you, Your Honor. I am going to publish what's been marked as 54 X-ray, X-ray. Now, is this another bedroom in the home? Yes. And was, you know, was this bedroom downstairs, upstairs? Uh, this bedroom was upstairs. I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 55 X-ray, X-ray. Was there any bags or items found in that bedroom? Yes, there was a gray bag found underneath the bed. 
I'm going to publish 56 X-ray X-ray. What was inside of that gray bag? A Glock firearm. I'm going to publish 57 X-ray X-ray. Is that the Glock firearm that was found in that um, gray bag underneath the bed? Yes. And I'm going to publish 58 X-ray X-ray. What is the serial number of this firearm? The serial number is uh, BKMN536. Your Honor, I'm approaching the witness with what's been marked as 57 X-ray X-ray Alpha. Texas Thorno, if you could um, take a look at that item and let me know if there's a serial number on that item. Uh, yes, there's a serial number on it. What is the serial number? Serial number is BKMN536. Is that the same serial number for the firearm we were just discussing underneath yes. the bed? Yes, same serial number. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence 57 X-ray, X-ray Alpha at this time. Admitted. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, was there also a debt? I'm going to publish 59 X-ray, X-ray. In this same room, Was is this a desk in that room? It is. And were there any items collected in that desk? Yes. Can you orient the jury to where you're looking at in this desk? Yes. And we may zoom in just a little bit. Uh, we located uh, two boxes of ammunition as well as a empty magazine. I'm going to publish 60 X-ray X-ray. Is this a close-up of ammunition found in that bedroom? Yes. I'm approaching the witness with what's been marked as 60 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. The bag had a slight tear in it, um, but I am bringing the, the bag and a red square item and hand it to the witness. Detective Storno, can you please look at the APD case number from that evidence bag and the items inside of it? Uh, yes. Is that the same APD case number from the search warrant on May 9th, 2022? It is. And inside of it, what are, what is in, or do you recognize what's inside of that bag? Yes, it's the two um, boxes of am, nine millimeter ammunition. And is it in the, in the same red boxes as depicted on the screen in 60 X-ray X-ray? Yes. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves to tender into evidence what's been marked as 60 X-ray X-ray Alpha. Admitted. Now, Detective Storno, thank you, Your Honor. I'm going to publish 61 X-ray, X-ray. Is this the right next to where those two ammunition boxes were found? Yes. And do you see magazines in that desk drawer? Yeah, there are two uh, empty uh, magazines. I am approaching the witness with what's been marked as 61 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. If you could, Detective Storno, does that have the same APD case number for the search warrant on May 9th, 2022? It does. And if you could do me a favor, sir, and just look inside of that bag. Okay. What are those items? Detective Storno. Uh, two empty uh, handgun magazines. And are they the two empty hang, uh, handgun magazines collected from the home that day? Yes. Your Honor, this time the state moves to tender into evidence 61 X-ray, X-ray Alpha. Admitted. I'm going to publish 62 X-ray, X-ray. Now, Detective Storno, what do we have on the screen here? So these are, um, we recovered the, uh, this from the... I'm going to make some room for you first. Sorry. All right. uh, so this was um, YSL branded uh, slime drink syrup, TH THC infused, that we recovered from the, um, that a coat closet on the main level. Is that that same coat closet that had the blue? I'm going to publish five X-ray X-ray.
Is this that coat closet, that blue door on the far right? Yes, same. Uh, this bottom right here. That was where the cover was. Where the same closet where we had the uh, gun firearm boxes we talked about earlier. That's correct. I'm going to go back to 62 X ray, X ray. Approaching the witness with 62 X-ray X-ray Alpha. Detective Storno, if you could be so kind and do you see an evidence label first outside of 62 X-ray X-ray Alpha? Yes. And is it the same APD case number associated with this case? It is. Can you do me a favor and open up that box and look inside? And what uh, is inside 62 X-Ray, X-Ray Alpha? Inside is the YSL branded uh, slime drink syrup um, infused with um, THC. I'm going to, Your Honor, it moves to tender into evidence 62 X-Ray, X-Ray Alpha at this time. Admitted. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 63 X-Ray, X-Ray. What do we have depicted here? Those were the two Glock firearm boxes that we uh, located during our search of the residence. I'm going to publish 64 X-ray, X-ray. And I'm going to zoom. Is this the first floor of the residence? It is. I'm going to zoom in on the bottom right. Do you see that uh, a memorial flyer in this photograph? Yes. 